The Wildcats of West Ranch High School and the Warriors of Alamany competed for the next seat in the CIF playoffs this past Thursday. The playoffs are where team talents come together and work their way to become champions. Champions overcome their challenges and take them head on and keep focus at all times. Just thinking focus on the next play because that's all you really got to do. You can't dwell in the past. Mm -hmm. um, as long as we just focused on the next play and kept siding out, we would eventually start winning points and we'd gain the lead, which is what we ended up doing in the end there. Dauphner performed well that night and contributed 12 kills. His teammate Matthew Reed dominated with 18 kills, 15 digs, and three serving aces. There were some amazing defensive passing from Libero Ryan Park. I was just like focusing on like effort because that's one thing that our team lacks. It's like we'll let balls drop without like talking or anything. So instead of like having other people get it, I just went for it honestly. Like for balls that um, were further away from me, um, I just wanted to play aggressive throughout the match. So, so yeah. Playing aggressively is one way a team will fight, even when it comes to entering new stomping grounds. I think it's it's one of those things where it, it's talked about a lot. Where playoffs are a different beast, a different atmosphere, a different feel, right? And for my boys, there's only about a few of them that had real court experience last year. Even with the little amount of experience coming out of those practices, it all depends on what the team takes from those practices. Sometimes it's okay to lose a set, or sometimes it's okay for a team to go on a run against you as long as you learn from it and improve upon it, which we really did. And, you know, credit to the coaching staff on our side that we were able to make adjustments. But even more than that, it's credit to the boys that subbed in who were very effective when they subbed in to do the job that we asked them to do. Reporting for Kenya's News, I'm Kyle Kamado.